Well, for the penultimate adventure for Doctor Who in uh, his original run, you get the Curse of Fenric, which uh, once again returns to uh, horror elements uh, for it. And overall, in a lot of ways, don't really hate this one. <laughs> it's kind of like they were almost finding their footing with the Seventh Doctor and then ran out of time, you know, ironically enough. Oh, it's got problems in it. I mean, there's interesting things here of uh, the Doctor encountering uh, an old uh, a villain that he had encountered before. And when I had originally seen it, I thought, oh, this must be some guy from one of the previous Doctor Who shows I never got to see, you know, whether it was Hartnell or Troughton or something like that. Uh, but apparently not. <laughs> it's just did this, and I don't know if they would have revisited it had the show continued and shown that, uh, oh, in the distant past, uh, you know, uh, the Doctor encountered Fenric and trapped him and all that sort of thing. Meanwhile, you've got these, I don't know, post-apocalyptic vampires from the future trapped in the past, whatever, I don't know, <laughs> who's infecting everybody uh, at the time of uh, World War II. Uh, so, but all in all, for what it is and, and uh, how it unfolded, it's not too bad. Uh, you've got... You know, the seduction of by evil of people, namely these two girls. Uh, the, the odd thing is that the, the Soviets decided to invade during World War II because, well, <laughs> you know. And, I mean, look, they, it's not like they trusted the Allies or anything. but <laughs> And then, but, you know, it was the late 80s and all that stuff. Can't we just get along and... Now and uh, let's depict the British military as being bad and <laughs> dumb crap like that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, and uh, and uh, Ace uh, has a crush on the uh, Russian commander, uh, but then he gets possessed because of his. Uh, well, he was part of the a descendant of the people that. Uh, Fendrick had, you know, hold over, so was able to take possession of him, and of course, Ice uh, foolishly helps him solve the uh, chess match that the Doctor was using against him. So, you know, coming out of the Celestial Toy Maker and uh, the specials that weren't so special, uh, it's kind of a similar thing where uh, it's supposed to be this powerful entity, but if you challenge him to a, a game, then. Uh, you know, <sighs> I, I've got to play it. <laughs> and uh, apparently he's not as good at chess as the doctor is. So, uh, But then uh, Ace is. <laughs> so, so, oh no, it all seemingly goes wrong. But uh, basically the doctor talked to uh, the original vampire guy uh, who's been in the water too long. Uh, and he turns on him. And, uh, well, they kill each other in the... Uh, little gas chamber where you experiment on uh, gas weapons uh, which is why the Soviets wanted it that they were doing experiments on chemical weapons to use in the war and, hey for some reason it never got around to it well now you know why see that's that's what it is <laughs> but apparently uh, if uh, it, it was taking into uh, the vampire thing if you have faith in something it didn't really matter what uh, but here you had the scene of uh, the, the Soviet captain had faith in the Soviet philosophy, <laughs> whereas the priest, uh, his faith was weak. You know, uh, he seemed to get it back, but then, oh boy, he really, he really stumbled and lost it and got eaten by vampires. See, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the, the faith in Marx was. Uh, <laughs> Apparently more powerful. <laughs> what are you going to do, you know? <laughs> so anyway, uh, but ultimately, uh, that's it. Uh, oh, uh, uh, the doctor, I guess his faith was in his former companions or something. He muttered that, and the vampires were like, oh, and it, it apparently hurts their ears. Huh. Yeah. But... Anyway, um, you know, there's some horror elements here, some creepy trappings and stuff kind of worked. And uh, 
Saw a little more than ace of ace than they intended. <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's about it. Uh, but the interesting thing, and I, I'm sure I've maybe I've said it before or I've read it elsewhere. People catch on to this is that uh, it's you know, you, in the final throes of the original Doctor Who, and um, it, it a lot of the templates that are carried over into its uh, uh, reboot is this business of going in depth on the the companions more so than they ever did in the original series where I, uh, but ace is uh, a bit different maybe like in the first episode when they're introduced you you might meet their family and stuff like that but it doesn't really follow through later whereas ace this kept coming up so uh, this is rather typical of uh the new who that happened um and it it, it got really tired i mean with rose all right, I understand that to a certain point, uh, but after a while, it's like, geez, Louise, you know, I have to go to their house, uh, where their family, and all that stuff, and repeatedly do it, uh, stuff like that. Whereas here, uh, Ace, uh, you know, meets her grandmother here, and all that stuff, and she had a problem with her mother, but uh, initially ends up saving her mother, who was an infant uh, at this point, stuff like that, and. Uh, was connected to uh, the Ghost Light episode, which apparently, uh, no, not last season. It was still in this season, but I mean, it was uh, supposed to have preceded this one, I think, or something like that. Uh, but you know, well, shenanigans happens, whatever scheduling, well, you know. Uh, but but anyway, it, it's more uh, uh, to that business of uh, delving into Ace herself rather than just. Well, there's this monster, and uh, the doctor's got to stop him, and all that, you know. Uh, but it 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 wasn't typical of uh, classic Who, whereas it's damn near standard in uh, New Who, or at least it was before it destroyed itself. And I don't know what it is now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so there you go, the curse of Fenric.